In this chapter, we're going to create the staircase. The focus on creating the staircase is really to understand and learn groups and components, as well as further use the follow me tool to create the railing and use the move copy tool. The first thing we're going to do is understand why we use groups and components and when to use just groups or when, in this case, just to use components. And what I want to do is just orbit over here, just in our model space, and just show you a little exercise. I'm just going to draw a little riser here. I'm going to use move copy to have three copies here. Take the select tool, and I'm going to select the middle one and make it a group. I'm going to triple click the last one and make that a component. And I'll get into the specifics of components, but you can name them here. Just going to copy these. When we are creating staircases, you'll notice the three staircases almost look identical. So you have just the stray geometry, the groups, and the components. Stray geometry makes it very difficult to modify and adjust. If you want to make any changes to one tread or one riser here, it's really a challenge because everything's connected. If you accidentally delete something, you start to lose geometry here. Groups give us the ability to isolate our geometry, which is great. But you'll notice as I'm only making changes on one group, it's not making any changes on the other risers here. And that's where components are great. For example, here, we can just draw some detail. And it's going to make the effects or changes on any duplicate of that copy. You can also make components unique. And then that way, if they're different for some reason, or you want it to be unique, you can do so and make changes to that, and the rest of the geometry for other elements retain their own information. If you're familiar with AutoCAD, these work like blocks. Actually, when you import a AutoCAD block, it is converted to a component. And it's a great little feature, especially if you're importing furniture or trees, you can swap or replace one component with every single instance in your model. Saves a lot of time. So this is really why we use components. It's going to save a lot of time. It's going to make our geometry a lot more simpler and easy to adjust. And it's going to make creating these staircases so much more efficient. So let's move on and actually create the stairs in the house here.